kids across the country are loving luge after two American Olympians brought home medals at the 2014 and 2018 Winter Games. NBC 5's Renee Wonderlich shows us how USA Luge is on the road to teach families about their sport. On a sunny summer day with no ice in sight, a group of kids are gearing up to do some serious sledding. When you get your sled, you're going to walk on over, sit down on your seat and lay back and learn a little something too. Do not take your hands off the sled. At any point, if you want to stop, put your feet on the ground. With only two ice tracks in the country. Lay yourself back. I'm not going to let you roll away. Don't worry. That is awesome position. The USA Luge Slider Search team you ready? has to take the sport on the road Head back to find future sliders. The Slider Search offers us the opportunity to meet people face to face, give them an experience with the sport. Topping out at 25 miles per hour, the wheeled sleds give these young sliders a taste of the sport. Lay down, stay laying down. The search is traveling to nine different places this summer. Nobody's judging. Including here in Essex Junction. Putting a call out to kids ages 9 to 13 to see if they like luge. I didn't know that luge was that complicated. All I thought was he just hopped on a sled, pushed off, and went. I think for the most part, most people get hooked at least once they stop hitting cones. It's OK, you're good. Former Olympian Aiden Kelly says it's hard to explain what it feels like to luge. You know when a roller coaster drops away, when you start to pick up speed and you realize, oh no, <laughs> oh, I'm not slowing down. It's like that, except you're in control. You're going to try to practice weaving a little bit. As the day goes on, the course gets tighter and more technical. Here we go. Including a ramp launch for added speed. But they won't be going as fast as Olympic athletes who can travel nearly 100 miles per hour. It was a little difficult because I didn't know what I was doing exactly, but I got the hang of it after I did it a couple times, but it was definitely not that hard once you get used to it, and I definitely enjoyed it. You're doing awesome, bud. Kelly says you don't have to be a daredevil to get into the sport, but for some of the 500 or so kids who sled this summer, they may be selected for a chance to go for the gold. Hopefully they like it. Uh, if they do and they're, you know, pretty good at it, we'll invite them back to Lake Placid. They'll spend a few days in the Olympic Training Center. They'll get to try the sport on ice. And from there, we select our development team, which I coach. Olympic dreams or not, kids looked like they were having a good time. It was really fun. I liked it. In Essex Junction, Renee Wonderlich, NBC5 News. Could be a future Olympian there, right?